and good morning i'm just doing a quick video on the easy fit e-bike kit as you know i had that kit i bought it in october 2020 or september 2020 it was all bought using my own money just like yourselves um but it has been brought to my attention recently because i sold my kit on 18 months ago so you know them videos are three year old um it looks like the company uh, which Clive ran, Easy Fit e bike kit. It's been the web page has been like this apparently for a while, and you can't get a, get hold of them. Um, the number you're ringing, you can't get through. I mean, if you go on uh, Trustpilot, <laughs> yeah, the reviews are pretty stark. And understandable, people are very upset because they can't get hold of anybody. When you've got a problem, you need to get contact with somebody and you need a bit of help like i did when i first got my e-bike kit um within a month i had a problem with the battery contacted clive i think i emailed him and he replied straight away new battery out in the post within 24 hours so you know i, I personally couldn't complain because it was service was great for me but uh, for some reason i don't know what's gone on the last four or five, well, maybe even more, six reviews, it seems to have started, you know, sort of in the uh, spring. Someone's put a, a 25th of May, and then all of a sudden June, really, really bad. Um, so, I mean, obviously, Clive was just a supplier of this e-bike kit. This kit can be bought quite a few places um this is the supplier and this is the um who supplied if you look on your kit it's it's all lvbu and this can be bought direct from china it says it ships from a, a uk warehouse 12 day so you know you can get the same kit and have the same problems don't know what this customer service is like with this lvbu mine but there's there's other people selling it as well I've been on and I had a look um, at different, let us see this, Indy, this is the same kit as we, we've all had, the Easy Fit e-bike kit, still selling it, you know, it's got the uh, Easy Fit logo there, so yeah, it's a, exactly the same kit, and I don't know if that's the same number as the uh, the one that Clive had, but uh, yeah, I like yourselves, I paid for it with my own money, I had it for two years, I had, you know, little problems with it, nothing major, so the battery got replaced straight away, and after that was fine, so I sold it probably January or February last year, 2022, because I've been running a Ribble e-bike, I didn't need the two, so I sold the kit, kept my mountain bike obviously, but uh, yeah, I had no affiliation with Easy Fit at all. I was just a customer like everyone else. So and I've had a few comments about, you know, take my videos down and stuff like that. I mean, at the time, the kit was a great kit. It probably still is. But if you haven't got the customer service to, uh, you know, to ring up, if you've got a problem, you know, something's, if you've got a fault, this is where it falls down. So I don't know what's happened, whether Clive's got in too deep or... It's just becoming just a problem to him. I don't know, but he should have put some kind of message upon the thing on the on the website, you know. But it sounds like, and it looks like that he's just done a fly by night and left people in the lurch, which is it's not acceptable. So, but yeah, I thought I'd just put this little little video out. Uh, as I say, I had no affiliation with Easy Fit. I just bought a kit like everyone else. And then I put the, you know, my thoughts online via the videos that I've done with the bike, which, you know, and I had some good, good days with the bike, you know, I, I enjoyed using the kit. But then I bought a Ribble, which is all built in, didn't need two e-bikes, sold the kit. So I hope this uh, helps, but it won't help anybody that's just bought the kit and is stuck. Uh, I, I do feel for you. 
Um, there must be an ombudsman you can contact. Obviously, if you've paid for it by credit card, get in touch with your credit card company, and I'm sure they should be able to reimburse you, put a claim in through that. But, uh, yeah, it's just unfortunate that Clive hasn't put some kind of memo out to tell us what's, what's, what's gone on. But if I do f hear anything, I will post uh, back up on here. Okay. Thanks for watching.